pump curve normally consists of four segments. The capacity is generally shown on the horizontal axis. Let's look at this example of a BBA pump BA150. In the first segment, the pressure difference is plotted against the pump capacity. On the left side of the curve, the pressure is high, with a low capacity on the right side, it's the opposite. Low pressure at high capacity. When your pump is running, it will run at a certain capacity and pressure. This is called the duty point. Let us look at the duty point of 250 cubic meters an hour at 18 meters. From this duty point, we can extend the line vertically to the second segment. Now we can read the absorbed power at the duty point of 250 cubic meters an hour. This is, as you can see, 18 kilowatts. This is important information, for now we know that we need to install a motor of at least 18 kilowatts. When we continue the vertical line further, we arrive at the MPSH curve. MPSH means net positive suction head. Actually, there should be an R of required behind it. This part of the pump curve shows the required suction head. If the pressure is above this line, you are okay, and if it's below it, the pump will cavitate. The required minimum pressure is shown in absolute pressure. More about this in the next video. At our duty point of 250 cubic meters an hour, the maximum suction pressure is minus 8 meters. Below that, the pump will cavitate. The line at the bottom of the curve shows us the pump efficiency. This efficiency of the pump also varies depending on the duty point. To save energy, we must set our duty point where the efficiency is highest. I hope you liked these first videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a new series of videos.